I don't even think there's a point of doing this one, guys. It's, it's actually a scam. Hey, hey, hey. Instagram follow up bro. I got it. Alright guys, you probably didn't want to hear that at the beginning of the video. Today's video I want to talk about is Forex trading a scam? And before I even get going, I want to let you know that I've been in this industry now for six years. I can't even believe it. I'm still pretty young, but I've been around the block and I know exactly what is a scam and what isn't a scam. And on today's video I want to talk about that. Now, before we get going, first things first. I want you to click that subscribe button if you haven't already because I'm making a ton of new content that I want you guys to see. And second of all, if you want more content like this, click the like button. So before you say, is Forex a scam, you need to understand what it is. Forex stands for the foreign exchange. And what this is, is a market similar to the stock market, but instead of trading companies and instead of buying stock in companies, you are buying a currency. Now I want you to think about this for a second. The stock market trades about $80 billion, give or take, every single day. That's a lot of money, right? The foreign exchange trades about $6 trillion every single day. Forex is the largest financial market in the entire planet. So is it a scam? No, absolutely not. That's like saying the stock market is a scam. But what is a scam are some things surrounded by it. And today I'm going to give you five different warnings that you need to look out for, five different pieces to help you protect your money. So everything else surrounded by Forex could be a scam, and that's what I want you to watch out for. Now the first thing that could be a scam are brokers. Now brokers are like banks inside of the foreign exchange. They are responsible for taking your money and holding it and allowing you to trade it. And this is important because they could do things with it such as take the money in, and run off with it. And that's a funny drawing, but that could happen. If you are not with a regulated broker, if you're with an unregulated broker, this could happen. If you are with a regulated broker, then you know that this is backed and you're safe. So you want to look for regulated brokers to keep you the safest. Now number two is not a scam, but it's a warning sign, and that is leverage. So I want you to think of leverage as debt. When you think about real estate investing, what do they talk about? Leverage to get the deal. That's going to a bank and getting debt. Typically speaking, an investment property is 20% down, 80% debt. Meaning, if you get a $100,000 property, you only have to put $20,000 down and the bank will finance, aka leverage you, the money of 80%. However, in Forex, there is something called leverage here. You can have one to 50 leverage. You can have up to one to 3,000 leverage. So the reason leverage can be dangerous is that you can put in $100, but the $100 is worth in buying power much more than just $100 because you're leveraging the broker. The brokers entice you to do this because you can lose money much faster and you have the opportunity and potential to lose more money than you actually put in. So that makes leverage both a double-edged sword. It helps your upside, but it also excruciatingly diminishes your downside and it's gonna hurt you in the long run if you take advantage of it too much. Now number three is interesting because what you're here for is education and I'm about to write down the word education. It can actually be a scam. I don't want you to invest your money into some place that is going to take over and gonna take all your money and not teach you anything. The best education I can give anybody is go over to a website called babypips.com. That's a free website that's going to teach you exactly the terminology needed in order to finally learn this. And the terminology is more important than anything because you need that before you can even learn it itself. So education is what I consider a potential for a scam in this space because of the person behind the education. The market as a whole is not. The person behind it could be. Number four is signals. If you don't know what signals are, this is a person saying, hey, you need to buy this right now, or hey, you need to sell this right now. The reason this could be a scam is you could be getting swindled by somebody acting like they have a livelihood that is amazing, acting as if they know how to do what they're doing, acting as if they make money trading through their signal platform, and you purchase it and then realize you're not getting any results. 
That is because maybe that person is just living by selling that service. And that right there in itself could be a scam. I'm not saying everybody that does this is, I'm saying watch yourself and ask that person for a track record. Ask that person for some history. How have you been doing the last six months? Make them prove to you that they have actually been doing what they're saying that they're doing. The last one is trade copiers. Now this one I do need, and it is very dangerous. Trade copiers, nine times out of 10, are gonna take your money. Keep in mind that most trade copiers are against regulation. They are not actually enabled to do that in most countries. It's usually against regulation for, I would say, 95% of them. And what you wanna do is just steer clear of them totally. My first recommendation when you're learning how to trade is just don't look up trade copiers. Focus on yourself, focus on trading yourself. Don't let somebody else do it for you because they're most likely not gonna do the job that you want. So with this said, is Forex a scam? Absolutely not. It was joking at the beginning, but stuff inside could be. And so you just wanna protect yourself. You wanna understand these are the spots you need to protect yourself. And hopefully this helps you to understand the market as a whole a little bit better. So with that said, if you do enjoy this video, click the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video.